I'm recording this video on Tuesday the 5th, getting ready for the full moon on Thursday the 7th. I've got all my homework stuff and my to-do list, but I'm going to share a quick uh, meditation video for the flower moon. Um, I was looking up some of the meanings for the flower moon, and a lot of it centers around the uh, kind of transition from spring to summer. Uh, physically, and then also the emotional and mental counterparts that kind of come up during that time. Um, a very high energy moon, so it's important to use gentleness and compassion with oneself, and whatever else is happening. Um, it's a time to be especially... I'm getting a call. So that was a spam caller, and just like how I just got a spam caller, um, the stuff I looked up said that this full moon, the time leading up to the um, full moon, is bringing up a lot of like inner trauma type stuff, um, any kind of imbalances. I'm not very well read on astrology stuff, but for those of you that are, um, this moon's happening in Scorpio. Um, but anyway, it's an important time to look back at events. And then just putting the sheet aside, you can think, I like to think about the moons um, as the progression throughout the year, kind of as the action or the theme of whatever time it is. And so May, this moon's early in the month, but May is the last month of spring. And uh, after this, going right into the heat of summer. And so what they were saying online about um, resolving old emotional stuff kind of makes sense in the theme of kind of um, winter is a time of kind of recollecting and summer is a time of expression. And so if you imagine whatever themes came up for you during this quarantine, during this spring semester, this winter time, a lot of weird stuff, a lot of changes. And we've all had to come through the spring awakening together. Things literally becoming more enlivened, enlightened, more light in the day more heat, more people outside, and then now getting ready for the full activity of summer. And so just you living your own life, you probably already can feel or are aware of if there's anything that fits that category of kind of that last little stuff that you're still holding on to. And pretty much everybody always has stuff that's weighing them back in some way. So it's not about being totally unencumbered, totally free. It's just about having the attitude of embracing that culmination and embracing moving into full action. Um, kind of like listening in to a, a song and seeing what part of the song is playing. Just looking out around us. I don't know if you can hear the birds outside. Everything's coming alive. Yeah. And uh, part two is meditation.